In this series of four videos, you will learn about the advantages of using DevOps practices and the Visual Studio Team Services toolset on an example of a real InfoPulse project for the Ireland State Agency for Qualification and Quality Assurance. My work consists of supporting the infrastructure of both the customer and the application and improving these with the assistance of automation tools. Before the introduction of DevOps practices, delivery of a new version to production took too much time and thus was quite costly. The system included unnecessary manual operations which did nothing to ensure the quality of a product and also hindered adequate quality control. Product deliveries were chaotic, not systematic, and no clear delivery process have been adopted. That is why a good deal of customer resources have been spent in deploying a new version to production. To optimize the performance of applications and to control the cost of the customer's infrastructure, it was decided to use DevOps practices to automate the application installed on a customer's environment. We use Visual Studio Team Services, notably a cloud service that allows the automation of the delivery processes and new builds creation. We also use Power BI to control the team's work, their workload, and to ensure particular specialists in the team, for example, QA specialists or developers, are not being underutilized. We also use Azure as a basic component of the customer's infrastructure. All the applications deployed on the servers, or services of Azure and Visual Studio Team Services, allow the integration of these services with each other. Release management, as a whole, is a very useful tool for system administrators who don't want to be system administrators anymore, but who would rather become DevOps engineers. Release management allows the active delivery process to be automated and reduces the time needed to deliver a new version of an application to servers. There is no need to run PowerShell scripts manually or to copy new builds to servers because everything works automatically with just two clicks. Within half an hour, a new version of the product is assembled from the source code into builds and installed on the server. Then the testing procedure follows. An operations team is not involved in this process in the same way as a QA team is not involved in the product testing. Previously, for automation, the majority of DevOps engineers used the so-called XAML builds, which were, in fact, like a single huge script that performed some kind of action. For someone other than the script writer, it was quite difficult to understand these scripts. Thus, it was almost impossible to use the same scripts for different applications. Visual Studio Team Services allows the automated writing of a script in a convenient and user-friendly way. Every time the developer changes the source code, the continuous integration build is assembled and the tests are run. After testing, we can see the results of those changes, how much they influence the application, or how much they can damage the customer's environment. In the CI, continuous integration process, the builds are assembled after each change to the source code made by the developer. This means that after each such change, we can track the quality of our product and see how the changes affect the final result. You can make any change in release management or build management from a mobile phone. DevOps engineers do not need to stay with the team every minute of every day in order to help them improve the quality of the application. And if something does go wrong, you can correct the current situation on the go, improve an automation process, add some new features, add new environments, and literally launch the release management for a new application using an ordinary smartphone. Our current customer has about 15 active projects. This means that at least 15 times per day, new versions of the application should be installed on a QA environment, a user acceptance testing environment, and a production server. 
Automation of the deployment process allows the use of Visual Studio Team services instead of an engineer from the operations team. The operations specialist deals with improvements of a customer's infrastructure and application infrastructure in each of the 15 projects. A simple example, a user uses a program, an application or some kind of web service and doesn't like something in it. Something does not go the way he or she wants. Perhaps some business process is not handled correctly in the application. The user contacts the support team, receives a short feedback that the problem is being dealt with, and after three hours, he or she is provided with a solution for the problem on the productive environment. In the delivery process, we use a lot of test environments. For a fully-fledged development process, there is no need to use these servers 24-7, as in the productive environment. Since in Azure, the payment for resources is time-based, by shutting down the server at night, we reduce the cost for the work of this server by a third. Optimizing an application in terms of resource consumption, we can significantly reduce the cost of these resources because we can use less powerful servers for our applications.